Admiral's log. As I plan the invasion of Ireland, I can't help but feel a sense of excitement and anticipation. It's been a long time since our navy has had the opportunity to take such a bold move against a major power like Britain. The British fleet is spread thin across their vast empire and I believe we have an opportunity to strike while they are preoccupied with defending their various territories. Our intelligence has given us a good idea of what we're up against. We know the number and type of British ships patrolling the waters around Ireland. We also have a rough estimate of how long it will take for reinforcements to arrive if we can establish a foothold. However, the unknown variables are the weather and any potential countermeasures the British might have up their sleeves. I have confidence in our plan, but I'm aware of the risks. This invasion could result in significant losses for our navy and disrupt the balance of power in Europe. However, if we're successful, it could give us a significant advantage in negotiations and bring us closer to achieving our ultimate goals. We must be prepared for anything and everything. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 42. We're going to start right away because the heavy cruiser also is going to be engaging the battleship D, the light cruiser Pearl and Dauntless and destroyer Lewis. This battleship is not particularly impressive. She's doing 20 knots. She is not very heavily armed. She's got six 15 inch guns. And beyond that, uh, well, their secondary armament is quite a lot. It's 8 inch guns, 8.3s, 12 of them. But they also has 12 9 inch guns and can do 37 knots. She does not carry torpedo launchers, so I'm going to have to outgun this battleship. If I can do that, then my invasion of Ireland should be a go. Now on top of that advantage, my speed advantage that is, I should also be able to spot the enemy well before they spot me. Because this ship has radar 1, and there we go. Range is currently 19 clicks, which means I'm soon going to be able to open up with H, sorry, with AP rounds. Um, I don't think I can do a whole lot of damage with AP though. With plunging fire I can pen just about 3 inches of deck armor, which if this battleship has even a little bit of quality armor, should not really be able to go through. But superstructure, perhaps. I carry quite a lot of ammo. AP, please. Focus on the battleship. Don't care about anything else at the moment. Even more so because I'm not that likely to actually hit any of the smaller ships. Partial pen, partial pen. We're going to need more than 45 and 80. We're going to need some substantial numbers here. we got here? It's 11 clicks to the DD. Okay. Ricochet. We're still firing Mark... F oh, we got the Mark V. Okay, I didn't recognize that. That means we can even whack the DD with decent accuracy. I have now been spotted. Something, something spotted me, so it's likely going to be the destroyer. Which is vaping up right about now, but that's not a guarantee not to get hit. Come on, I need like one or two more and this thing is gone. Which means I can continue to harass this battleship from a position of concealment. The proud Royal Navy. Absolutely not what it used to be. Pen. Over pen. Damage the main tower. Are you not even trying, or... Oh, there you go. Boom. That ought to kill it. Gone. Um... Focus on the light cruiser now. I'm not sure, but I suspect this is currently serving as their spotter. If you can just outshoot a battleship with a heavy cruiser, then... Things have gone horribly, horribly wrong for the enemy. And not in this battle, but like five or ten years ago, campaign-wise. Credit where credit is due, this thing does seem pretty dauntless. Uh, it's an old light cruiser. Really, really old. So, I've decided that I'm going to retire it for the British, considering that the AI isn't doing it. Although, well, 
considering that Ireland's being invaded, I suppose that they've decided to just send whatever ship they have around. And Dauntless, old as she is, fit the bill. Come on, build the accuracy. There we go. 28, 30%. Couple flooding hits, and we can say goodnight to this thing. Wow, you've actually been hit. Didn't take any damage. Turn. Battleship's using 15 inch one. Yeah. Re three seconds. Oh, sorry, three minutes plus reload. Three seconds would be pretty good. Let's focus on the pearl for a second. I don't mind firing off all the armor-piercing shells against this light cruiser, because this is going to take a lot of damage from the semi-armor-piercing. The battleship, much less so. So if I can use all the AP on this ship, I can just use the HE to burn the battleship down. Which is not an easy feat, but crowned quarters, like most of these British ships, they don't believe in crew luxury, and they're about to pay the ultimate price for that decision. And that's the Dauntless gone. All right, <clears throat> next up is the D. Okay, that sounds terrible. Forget I said that, all right? Holy shit, what the? Okay. Well, uh, that was fun. I took six damage and I did 44k. That was fast. <laughs> that didn't even get a participation trophy. <laughs> oh, poor Brits. No, not really. Okay, so that's one battle. Um, the British are not happy about my plans to invade Ireland. And I do have enough tonnage right now. The problem is, with all these attacks that are currently happening on this invasion fleet, I might not have enough tonnage after that. So I'm very eager to very quickly eradicate the ships, ideally without taking a whole lot of damage on my own ships, so that I can still acquire or... Um, uh, satisfy the requirements for the invasion tonnage. Right up to the next battle. This, different ship class, is the Africas. These do 28 knots and they're using 14.3 inch guns. They have maximum bulkheads, trained crews, and they're escorted by a bunch of destroyers and a light cruiser. What I have is three heavy cruisers of the Aso class, a light cruiser of the Yayama, this is the speedboat at 49 knots, ideal for hunting down destroyers, and my own destroyers of the Miyuki class. They do carry some torpedo launchers, but they're largely an afterthought. And I still need to improve the 5 inch guns. So the destroyers here might be able to do something against the battleships. I kind of doubt it, because I do suspect that the enemy destroyers if I don't kill them off first, will alert the enemy battleships to incoming torpedoes. Even if I can get a destroyer to surrender using a couple of HE volleys, I mean, if it doesn't kill the DD, it can still spot torpedoes, like we have seen in a previous episode. So ideally, I would just destroy ships rather than having them around as uh, a sort of spotter, if you will. Okay, how are we going to form this group? Uh, we're going to make this a four group DD. Normal formation ahead standard. And Shishima. Okay, you're going to turn port. We're going to all load HE. And I think we might be able to overwhelm their damage control parties, much like we did with the previous ship. Don't dodge anything. The 19 clicks out. I can set them a fire, set them a blaze at about 11 clicks. That's a that's a start. Yeah, Yama speedboating around. This thing is nuts. 49 knots. Good lord, could you just like hit something? What's the deal here? Finally. And that's the light cruiser? Why are we having such difficulty hitting a light cruiser? Uh, turn starboard. Prepare to smoke up. Smoke up. Incoming fire, assumedly from the battleships. Is this the same build? No. That's something else. 10 7.1 inch guns. Okay. So you're different. Alright. 
Sometimes, by the way, the speed slider is a bit stuck. So if that happens, then just give the ship AI control, immediately take it away. And you should be able to use the speed slider again. It's weird like that. Okay. Smoke up. Your torpedo range should be... Yeah, that's sufficient. This thing... <clears throat> is eagerly shooting at the destroyer because the AI hates things with a torpedo launcher. If it can get a hit, it can get a lot of damage. And it did. It did. Shoot this. Before there's nothing left to shoot with. Shishima, make a turn. This light cruiser, I'm not sure if we just can't pen it. Or if it's leading some sort of blessed life. What's the sea state? The sea state is not bad. So it's not that. Ah, oh, hello. Torpedo in the water. You're not launching, are you? No, you're not launching. Okay, fine. Um, split off the Ayanami. And Ayanami goes home. You guys continue on. And over here, we're going to have another run with the Chishima. This is nuts. We're not doing any kind of damage. This thing is four and a half clicks out. And we're still not hitting it? How? What's your, what's your secret? Target maneuvering, minus 93. Target fast speed, 71. Fast speed. Huh. You'd think that by now, my crews would be, especially with the advent of radar, able to start hitting this thing. And yes, finally they are. Now the damage is starting to rack up. Excellent. You got sonar? Yeah, you got sonar. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. DDs, fall back a little. I'm just considering removing the DDs from my fleet altogether. Uh-oh. Just considering removing the DDs from the fleet altogether because I don't think that they are really adding that much. I generally don't like Al using torpedoes and the few times that I actually do send a torpedo out, it tends to just not connect with the target at all. You're dead. Which is not great, because now everybody else is going to be alerted. Here's another torpedo salvo from the DDs. Big! Big torpedo salvos at that. Okay, gentlemen. HE now. We are through with these torpedo salvos. That's not a light cruiser. Everything here is a DD. It's just five DDs and two battleships. Arare. Have you done anything? No. Because you're shooting at a destroyer? Why? You got like a perfectly good battleship in range. I don't understand. Anyway. I'm thinking of just scrapping the destroyers or well <clears throat> let's say not ordering any new ones is i have so much money that i can just replace dds with cruisers at this point light cruisers i swear that was a torpedo come on <clears throat> gotta start eliminating some things here because soon these things are going to start reloading well, if you want to be exact about it, they already are. It's just that they are going to take a while to do that. And that makes them fragile and vulnerable. And we can exploit that right now. Focus on the black water. Accuracy 34%. I'll take that. Open fire. With semi-armor piercing? No, with HE. That's more like it. Bloody hell, these DDs are just getting sniped by the battleships. That was 16k. What you got? Mark 3 14-inch gun. With a coincidence 4. 
Shoot something. Switch target. Go to the trusty. Thank you. Now we're talking. You got a bunch of these six inch guns and they're all just sitting there. Missed. I swear the bow turrets are just not shooting. They're not even tracking the target anymore. <sighs> okay. Pull back emergency. Is this the bug where the ship goes, oh, I can't track this, it's going too fast. Because they can definitely track it. It's just the bug. See, now my guns are actually doing something useful. No, well, they were. For like a second. New target, opportune. Yeah, I get that you're now facing an angle issue, but now you're on target. So, fire! Oh, why do I have to rely on the secondary guns of a light cruiser? Three and two inch guns will eventually sink this thing. But it'll take more time than I would actually like. You boys. We're going to switch fire to the Black Prince. Cramped quarters. Yep, that's your weakness. Right there. Couple nice torpedoes. <clears throat> How fast are you still going? You're still doing 41 knots? You just don't slow down at all, do you? Trusty. Still reloading. Take the trusty out then. Come on. How much armor do you guys have? Okay. So, your armor is mostly keeping you safe. Once again, the guns just refuse to fire. I'm not even doing any sharp turns. The ship is sailing straight on. Oh, if this released game could get some patches, that would be fantastic. That would be so useful. Let's just get the DD out of here, so I don't have to micromanage that thing at all anymore. Decent. Osiris has no torpedoes, you got no torpedoes, and you're still loading. Push into the DDs. <coughs> and get rid of them. This battleship... Well, at this rate, I think we might be able to take him out. My accuracy is about 6%. Their accuracy is a tenth. 0.6%. Alright. Do I finish off the opportune? No. I don't think I will. Switch to the Osiris. Boink. Once again, they take an awful long time to fire. There you go. Rudder damaged, engine damaged. Don't ram me. Whee! <laughs> <clears throat> there you go. That's the Osiris out of co Really? Out of commission? Come on. I don't care how you go about it. Just get it done. This battleship is taking quite... Quite some damage. My heavy cruisers are not. Good damage. Bit more. Boom. Destroyed secondary tower. Fire. Flooding. You dead. Next... And this is just one light cruiser. And honestly, I do prefer just having to manage one light cruiser. Makes my life a lot easier. Have you been hit? Yeah, but not by them. 
17% of the crew is dead. 87% is a control. So, yeah. If I could just knock off those superstructures, that'd be fantastic. I don't know if I can, though. I'm going to have you fire armor piercing. So maybe you can knock out their superstructure and the rest of you can set fires. That would be ideal. Because then their ability to control those fires and damage repair is going to be substantially hampered. Chishima. Willoughby is almost reloaded and Blackwater is never going to be reloaded. So this is your prio. How are we doing here? 21% crew lost. We still have plenty of high explosive shells left. It's just a matter of when, not if. What I'm a little bit surprised about is that in the invasion for Ireland, I have a lot... Oh, there you go. <clears throat> I have a lot of different ships. Including the Divine Broadside. So why is it up to a couple of cruisers, a light cruiser and some DDs, to take out two enemy battleships? Why isn't the Broadside getting involved? Because that would be the ideal candidate for the job. Open fucking fire. <sighs> well, at least we got the torpedo launcher. All back emergency, slow the ship down. Because apparently the game cannot handle going this fast. I swear that the secondaries have done a lot more damage. Yeah. It's a sad state of affairs when your 3 inch guns are more effective than your 6 inch guns. Dead. You guys doing alright? Oh, you took a hit, didn't you? Yeah, now you took a 14 inch hit. That's a nasty piece of work from the Enterprise. But the Enterprise is going to have pretty much some different concerns on their hands right now. 15% crew is dead. I'm not sure actually doing any damage with the Kasuga. 26, uh, sorry, 6k, 8k, 3.5k. Yeah. Have you been doing anything useful? Yeah, but it's like 29. Okay, HE. Everybody on the high explosive. Everybody on the barbecue train. Here we go. 60% structural integrity. Ow. Damn it. Main tower taking damage. 22% crew lost. 23. We Kanugasa trying to get out of the way. Pasuga is now in charge. At short range, we might be able to get even more fires if we get all the secondaries involved. Like the five inches and potentially the ones. I don't have a lot of ones. What happens if we all fire AP now? I wonder. Ooh. <laughs> Destroying secondary guns, are we? Flooding. Look at that. Don't underestimate a couple of those... Heavy cruisers at short range. Because they will mess you up. Kinugasa is looking a little worse for wear. That's going to be an expensive repair. The Enterprise has lost 30% of her crew right now. Where's the CL at? Get over here. 33%. Surprised that superstructure is still standing. Full pens. Don't kill the cruiser! I need that cruiser. 36% crew lost. Damage control down to 67%. Now we're going to burn them down. Because now they got nothing that they can hold back. Their damage control is just awful at this point. So now the fires are going to overwhelm the ship. I think those salvos destroying secondary guns knocked off quite a bit of crew pretty quick. And that could be instrumental. 38% crew lost. 64% damage control. 39% crew lost. Come on, what's it going to be, Enterprise? Fire. 
or just flat out destruction. Or surrender, that's another option. 41%. I think we're going to look at a surrender from this ship. Ow. Hey, you're here. Now you get to use HE. I think this thing has potentially even better fire starting shells. It has incendiaries. You guys... Oh, you guys also have incendiaries. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> Enterprise extends extensive fire. I thought we were going to see the burning of the Enterprise, but this is fine. Almost 8,000 victory points. They gained 826 for nuking two of my destroyers out of commission. But if I can trade two destroyers for two battleships, I think that's a good trade. I was asking... Why is the Divine Broadside not involved? Well, she is. She was just awaiting her turn. The Divine Broadside, Katsuragi, Maya, Banyo, and Gogeta, and Uji, there's a lot of capital ships I have floating around, are going to take on the Roebuck, the Peregrine, the Tyrion, the Lord Warden, the Undaunted, the Nelson, and the Benbo. And change. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Katsuragi... Not in a great condition. <sighs> this is bad. The ship has apparently been hit by a mine, or two, or three. And because of that, the ship is in an awful condition, but she's still out here. Now, the game works in such a way that after the ship has apparently been taking damage, it can still be part of the naval invasion, but... After it's taking part of this actual in-game battle, it will not. That's a problem. Because then I will most definitely not be meeting the required tonnage. All my battle crews have been damaged as well. Do I take the Katsuragi out of the fight? I don't want to have the British do it for me, that's the, the problem. I'm a giddy. Go find me something big to shoot at. Oh, we spotted something. All the way over there. Hello! You must be the British. You're 29 clicks out, and I don't have that range. Yeah, I don't want to lose this ship. It's expensive, and I don't want to lose the Katsuragi. So, the Divine Broadside is really going to be the only battleship that I currently have floating around here. And it's uh, gonna have to do a lot of work, because that's a lot of enemy battleships. As for the battle cruisers, they're mostly okay. For safety measure, I'm going to pull the Banyo away from this fight just the same, because I don't want the Banyo to make her uh, final move here. So, Katsuragi and Banyo disengaging. Light cruisers are okay. I'm not sure why you're flying solo. Normal formation. Don't avoid. Go here. There's the rest of the battleships. It's going to be a big fight. It's going to be a big fight. My concern is that if I am able to just eliminate all of these battleships, that the British are going to immediately sue for peace. And potentially push so hard that they'll actually get it. If that happens, then I'll not be able to complete the naval invasion. Although, apparently that has been patched out, but I'm not sure whether it actually has. Because sometimes you do require a new campaign save, or a new campaign, in order to have these changes actually take part. Or to, to take effect. So, I'm not sure if we're going to actually see these things uh, continue. Because they did patch it so that naval invasions, if they're in progress, actually make it so that you cannot disengage. There will not be peace. I'm not sure if that goes for my campaign save as well. Now the Maya with her 15 inches can do 23 knots, or sorry, 23 clicks. I can do 20 clicks with the broadside. Incoming fire. How dare you. Oh, I'm not the only one who's taken damage, huh? Some of these battleships are not looking so good. Incoming Shellfire, Origin, Divine Broadside, Secondary, 24 kilometer range in the AP. Yeah, the Divine Broadside desperately needs an upgrade, because her guns simply aren't quite good enough. 
They're not very updated. Gentlemen. Switch to high explosive. There is a lot coming for you. Turn around. So long as they're not shooting at the Divine Broadside, I'm happy about it. The Broadside is opening up. The real question being, can we actually wipe out some of these ships before they do any kind of disastrous damage to my light cruisers? Because light cruisers don't need much. Generally. They're going to take an awful lot of damage. Come on. <clears throat> I think one hit is going to actually sort of trigger the damage on this ship. So you're probably going to see a pop-up going, oh, you just took like hundreds of crew members in damage. It's almost like the Brits don't want to fight. They lost sight of the Hashidate. Yep, there you go. There. The battleship suddenly lost 309 crew members. No, you didn't. You already lost those a while ago. 0% chance to hit? You mean it's out of range? Okay. We're going to just try and pursue these ships with one battleship. Keep shadowing this thing. Ah, another one, 249. Because a 13 inch shell hits one of those ships. So we've done some damage, we've blocked um, one hit. But apparently that did take 1200 crew members in damage. Who was it that got hit? Was it the broadside? Yes. The Divine Broadside. No, not 200 crew members. Anyway, I lost some people. Stop avoiding. Let's see if the Brits want to play. Target the lead battleship. It's been badly, badly damaged and might be able to get taken out pretty quick. Wow, you're brave. You are really, really brave. I'm a giddy. Oh, your HE range is pretty bad. Ah. There you go. Benbow doing 22.8 knots in a rush. Which I don't think she can. Nope. She's doing 21 knots. That's uh, pretty impressive for a ship that badly damaged. Yeah, it's on. It is on flooding. I don't need much to take out the Benbow, but she is an outdated ship with those ancient... No, not so ancient 14-inch guns. Hit. Partial pen. Jesus. BCs, you're firing at Peregrine. Who's Peregrine? There's the Peregrine. No. We're going to fire at the Lord Warden. I don't want to have all my ships fire at the same target because I'm concerned that I'm going to be wasting accuracy that way. Because you're going to be interfering with your own shells. Flooding on the Benbow. Benbow's down to 0.4%. I need one hit and she's done for. And I think the broadside has her. But considering that all my ships have taken damage, I think the invasion of Ireland is over. I will not be able to keep that going. Just these <laughs> travel times. Damn. Lord Warren's at 70%. Undaunted at 68%. Peregrine's at 100. Roebuck 68. There you go. That's the Benbow down. Next target. What are you then? You're a heavy cruiser. I can ignore you. You're going to target the Undaunted. My dear Divine Broadside. 17 clicks out for Peregrine. 17.9 for the Undaunted. Lord Warden taking fire from the battle cruisers. Ooh, that was looking pretty decent. Oh, fuck. These things are so fast. I keep forgetting about them. <coughs> That's the Roebuck taking quite a bit of fire. Undaunted. Undaunted. Excellent. Undaunted is one of those cramped battleships, right? They're all cramped. Cramped, cramped, cramped. 
Tyrion. Spacious. Peregrine. Cramped. Yeah, so only the Tyrion is actually a more comfortable ship for the crew. Boom. Destroyed casemate. What are you trying to shoot? The broadside? <laughs> Not very well, I might add. Not very well. Ooh, good shooting. Knocking out a main gun on the Lord Warden. Secondary gun there. Is that the 8.9s again? Yeah. Do not underestimate these 8.9s. The British or some other faction have done that before and they came up a little short. I.e. they died. Boom. Good pen. Another partial. Whatever happened to that DD? You're still lurking, are you? Yeah. You guys are 50 clicks out. Excellent. <clears throat> so they have successfully disengaged. 30% chance to hit. And this thing is broadside. But supposedly I can't exactly pen it. Not yet. That's fine. We're going to keep going. Good damage. Excellent damage on the Lord Warden. At this rate, this thing is going to be burning up. Lord Warden, slightly less so, I think. We're still firing. Oh, we're firing AP with the 16s and HE with 13s. Interesting. Oh, destroyed main tower. Fantastic. Fantastic. Ooh. That was harsh. 5.5k. Peregrine is burning a little bit. That's a really condensed ship. Minus 16% draft. Look at how small those compartments are. Lord Warden should be dead. Undaunted. Let's switch everything to high explosive. Maya, Gujira, and Uji are mostly okay. Come on. CLs? Hello? Yeah. Okay. 21% there. Peregrine, 92. Lord Warden might flood to death. 22%, 21. Look at the amount of shells that I'm putting near. Holy shit. Undaunted, I think, is just about done. She's... Teetering on the edge of burning. To a crisp. Lord Warden. Sunk. Okay. Battle cruisers. Mm. Swap to Peregrine. Undaunted. 9%. The Divine Broadside is casually plowing along at a... Well, decent 22 knots. Accuracy 20 to 37%. They have so far taken 54k and I've taken 800 damage. I'd say that's a pretty good trade. I don't like that the Peregrine's very much angled away. Mm, switch to this target, make it quick. I don't think that this particular ship is any real threat. But it's more for frame rate purposes. <laughs> <laughs> as sad as that sounds. It's just that <laughs> the game is starting to stutter so much. I need a few less ships on my screen. And things that put out shells or that are currently interacting with waves. So, uh, sorry, Light Cruiser, but your number's up. Undaunted shooting back with 0.6%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, she's taking a beating. There you go. That's them down. Cressy. Go for the Roebuck. Go 
Could you just give it up, Undaunted? It's getting a little tedious at this point. Oh shit, now the CLs come rushing in again. Hello. Turn this way. Everybody focus on the Peregrine. Light him up. Peregrine has condensed quarters. Yeah, cramped quarters. Um, or do we just waste the undaunted? Questions, questions. Who's shooting the Tyrion? Because you guys are working over the roadbook. Is that the secondaries? No. Is it the... You're still shooting the undaunted. 2%. Dude. <clears throat> Shameful display. CL status? <laughs> Largely too quick. Why are we... Who of you is limited to 35 knots? Not you. Isuzu? No. It's not Suma. Oh, the Hashidate! It's an older design. Oh, shit. That's gonna be negatively impacting the survivability of these other ships. The Hashidate is a torpedo spammer. Ish. Like, she has triple launchers per side. Um... Send some gifts in the general direction of the Roebuck and see what comes up. Zero percent. At least round it up to 0 0.1, because zero percent means you're dead. And yet... You're not very dead. Hashidate. Send it. What's your deal? There you go. Good man. Turn around. And try to torpedo the Tyrion. How far are we moving away? We're 18.6 clicks out. I don't particularly like that. Switch fire to the Nelson. Undaunted finally succumbs to her structural integrity damage. Peregrine is forced to evacuate a bit. Do we have inbound torps? No, we do not. Okay, CLs. Turn around. Switch your fire to the surprise. Chikama has taken a hit. Surprisingly little damage, really. Could have been a lot worse. Just send another salvo, will ya? Thank you. Is that all of them? Yeah, it looks like it. The other salvo here... I think will get spotted. Yeah, Roebuck already knows about the Torps. How the hell does the Roebuck know about the Torps? Hydro 3? Are these Torps that visible? Oh, standard torpedo propulsion. Yes, they're that visible. Divine Broadside is doing her murderous job and focusing her fire on the Nelson. You guys focus on the Tyrion. We still got a DD here shadowing the guys. And this is why I don't rely upon torpedoes. They just go all over the place and they generally don't hit anything. Because the AI knows exactly how to steer and generally just does not get hit. I should have just blocked an incoming shell. Must have been a fairly small caliber then. Tyrion taking some damage. Cressy is in a really risky spot there. It's, it's raining shells on the Tyrion, originating from the Divine Broadside. I'm oh, sorry, she's targeting the Nelson. Where's the Nelson? Oh, here! The Nelson's flying solo. Well, that's a mistake. <clears throat> we'll have to educate them on that. Watch this. I got two torps there, one there, one there, one there. 
So plenty of opportunity for the AI to get hit. But this is the AI we're talking about. So unless this battleship overcorrects, and it doesn't, everybody just makes it out alive. Without a scratch. I have seen people suggest in the comments, oh, can you build a torpedo battleship? No. Because a torpedo battleship is just awful. It is a really bad idea and it does not work. Not for the least of the reasons being that if... If the battleship carrying all the torpedo launchers gets hit, the torpedo launchers are going to get destroyed. And if you destroy enough of them, the ship is completely harmless. Like you take away the primary armament. What? How good are you at both dodging and spotting? Hydro 3. What sort of turps you carry? Oh, never mind. You already just launched. Okay, fine. Tyrion, extensive fire. Do you have any more battleships? Yeah, the Roebuck. Let's rectify that way. You're shooting Roebuck. You boys shooting Roebuck. And immediately the Peregrine is turning. Seriously, this precognition is so annoying. Come here. Come here. Finish off the surprise. It looks like Spartan and Cressy and Sutlej are suddenly growing a pair. We'll soon put a stop to that. Long range fire from on Peregrine. Oh, the Divine Broadside is engaging the Peregrine. <sighs> Mixed results. What I'm really going to hate at the end of this battle is that the enemy is going to get a ton of victory points for damage that was done by mines. But the game is going to go, yep, no, the ship was damaged, so here's a couple of victory points. And considering the state of some of my ships, like the ships that I told to evacuate, Kasuragi and Banjo, the damage is catastrophic. So they're going to get thousands of victory points for doing nothing. Because the damage was not done by these ships. The damage was not done in this battle. The damage was already done by a mine. Or several, potentially. Roebuck, badly hurting... Okay, let's split off, speed up. You guys can do far more than this. Ooh, what got you? Battlecruiser decided to end you. Hitting a battlecruiser, hitting a heavy cruiser. Jeez, these things just don't stand a chance. This is just the 8.9. This is the secondary gun that's tearing open a, a heavy cruiser. An extremely old one, sure. Heavy cruiser nonetheless. Alright, you guys were working on the surprise. The big surprise. Gone. The Cressy. <clears throat> You're still shooting Roebuck? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, to their credit, the British essentially are completing their mission. Because what the British mission was is to stop the invasion of Ireland. And while they don't seem to really be successful at sinking my ships, well, beyond the two destroyers from the previous fight, they are successful in making sure that I don't have the tonnage to actually complete the objective. Ow. I'm not able to complete the uh, naval invasion because, well, at this point, I think my whole fleet is going to be down for repairs. So the shipyards are going to be working overtime trying to get everything fixed. And I'll probably have to start micromanaging my shipyards or my repair schedules to make sure that I even have a couple of battleships out there. Because I think I was already repairing one battlecruiser. I'm still building a couple of new battlecruisers and battleships. And... 
Well, if the broadside needs to go into a dock, that's 155, oh, sorry, 150,000 tons right there. So it's going to get expensive, and it's going to take time. And those are both factors that I don't really like to have to waste on damage that was done by mines. <clears throat> Destroy secondary tower. Robux down to 19%. I got nothing left, right? Yeah, everything's dead. It's just these two battleships. This thing's 54% accuracy. Seven. Hold on, there's a, there's a ping here. That's the DD. That's the DD that keeps popping up. There it is. A Trifon. With a dual torpedo launcher. It's adorable. Gentlemen, I need you to finish up with the Roebuck. I'm not letting her run off here. She can do 27.9 knots. This ship can also do 27.9, and you're kind of cruising in that direction anyway. But I do want this thing down. Like, eliminate it. Accuracy is 33%. That's really good. Gojira is 7. She's changing course. I'm not sure what Uji is doing. Uji. Ow. Jesus. She's building a firing solution. Crap. Uji. This again? Really? Maya still shooting, that's her own thing. So, I, fine. A switch fire to the Peregrine. We'll just take this thing out first, then. So long as my primary weapons will actually shoot something. That would be progress. Oh, shit. You're out of range. Increase the full speed and try to close the distance. Maybe by the time that you get there, the ship will be either badly damaged and slowed down or dead. ECLs. No, let's just evac them. If I could put 8 inch guns on a CL, that'd be fantastic. Maybe I can up, upgun the 7.9ers. And with those, pose like a 49 knot super heavy destroyer. Something to that effect. 7.9 inch guns can deal quite a lot of damage quickly. What are you guys shooting? H-E. 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 Okay. Because I'm just not seeing any kind of damage here. And the Divi. Oh, the Divi's trying to close the distance. You're not shooting a DD with a 16-inch gun, you dummy. Absolutely not. How expensive is this? 183 million... So my battle cruisers are cheaper than this? Huh. One of their stern batteries has been destroyed. They barely have any firepower left. Problem is, the other battleship might make it out of here. I was hoping for no survivors, but I guess that isn't quite happening. 18% structural. Destroyed secondary gun. Probably the same one. And the battle. She surrendered. Okay, let's eliminate the destroyer. What kind of old guns do you have? You got the Mark II? Dude. No. Okay, here we go. This is going to get expensive. What? 157 victory points. That's unexpected. Yeah, they didn't actually sink any of my ships. I sunk 12 of theirs. I gained 8,000 victory points, and they lost 11,000 crew, which again isn't very accurate. 
Because, yes, they did lose a bunch of ships, and yes, they did take them a bunch of crew, but their ships, just as much as mine, were already damaged. Thankfully, I was able to save some of my crew. Um, the whole bunch of ships damaged by enemy mines. This is probably what happened before the battle that you just saw, because this is the Roebuck again. My ships? Yep. Sorry, no, that's Italy. Uh, I did lose a bunch of ships in the North Sea. No. What the hell is Canada going to do if I give them a Divine Broadside? I don't even want to know. Okay, so what's the situation in Ireland? Because I did have 450,000 tons of warship out there. Right now, I don't think I do. No, wait. I'm only repairing one battleship and one battle cruiser. No, they haven't left. We're still on track to invade Ireland. Excellent. Excellent. Of course, the British are not going to take that one very easily. So they have sent more battleships and light cruisers. They're going to come at me again. Hmm... Katsuragi has 65% damage. I'm going to pull her away to Helgoland to get her fixed. It's not a great port for her to go, but it's the only one I have. It is going to mean that I pull some of my tonnage away from this situation. So it's going to be really touch and go. It's going to be really close. Helgoland also is fixing Nishinotori, which is only 4% damage, so she can take up the position that the other ship has just left. All right, it's going to be pretty touch and go here. So far, hope you guys are enjoying the campaign, and I'll see you soon for the next episode.